Standard 3.3 asks you to describe the structure and function of the three branches of government established in the U.S. Constitution. So let's get started. How's it going everybody? Welcome to Virtual History 360. I'm Mr. Wade and today we are reviewing Florida's updated civic standards. Now, this might be your introduction to the standard or a review before the EOC. Either way, we're going to work through this content together. Okay, it's going to sound, might sound complicated, but don't worry, we're going to break it down together, you're going to be just fine. But, if you aren't already subscribed to Virtual History, do yourself a favor and click that button now so that you can keep up with all the standard review videos that will be coming out this year. So, what do you say? Are you ready to jump right in with standard CG.3.3? Here we go. The U.S. Constitution establishes three branches of government, the legislative, the executive, and the judicial branches. Each branch has a distinct role and a specific responsibility. Let's take a closer look at each one. First, we have the legislative branch, which is responsible for making laws. It is composed of the Congress, which is divided into two chambers, the House of Representatives and the Senate. The House of Representatives represents the people with the number of representatives from each state based on its population. The Senate represents the states equally with two senators from each state. The legislative branch has several important powers and responsibilities outlined in Article 1 of the U.S. Constitution. These include the power to create laws, regulate commerce, declare war, and raise and provide funds for the government. The legislative branch plays a crucial role in representing the interests of the people and making decisions that affect our nation. Next, we have the executive branch, which is responsible for enforcing and administering laws. The executive branch is headed by the President of the United States, who serves as the chief executive. The President is elected by the people and serves as the leader of the nation. The executive branch has a wide range of powers and responsibilities outlined in Article 2 of the U.S. Constitution. These include the power to execute and enforce laws, mentioned that already, negotiate treaties, appoint federal officials, and serve as the commander-in-chief of the military. The executive branch plays a vital role in implementing and carrying out the laws and policies of the nation. Lastly, we have the judicial branch which is responsible for interpreting laws and administering justice. The judicial branch is headed by the Supreme Court, which is the highest court in the land. It also includes lower federal courts. The judicial branch's main function is to interpret the U.S. Constitution and ensure that laws are constitutional. It has the power to settle disputes, apply the law to specific cases, and protect individual rights. The judicial branch plays a critical role in upholding the rule of law and maintaining a fair and just society. So in summary, the structure and function of the three branches of government are essential to our democracy. The legislative branch makes laws, the executive branch enforces laws, and the judicial branch interprets laws. Each branch has specific powers and responsibilities as outlined in the U.S. Constitution. By dividing power among these three branches, the U.S. Constitution establishes a system of checks and balances. This means that no single branch can become too powerful or abuse its authority. The branches work together to ensure that our government functions effectively and protects the rights and interests of the people. Understanding the roles and the responsibilities of the branches, the legislative, executive, and judicial branches, that helps us appreciate the importance of each branch in our system of government. It allows us to actively participate in our democracy and hold our government accountable. Okay, now I know you're going to go deeper into the standard in class, but hopefully now, after watching this, you feel a little more confident about the content. But I do want to hear from you. Do you have any questions about what we've talked about today? If so, leave them in the comments below. And of course, while you're there, be sure to check out my spring store to get some awesome virtual history t-shirts like the one you see I'm wearing today has the legislative branch right there. Be sure to use code STUDENT and get 10% off your entire order. Also, go ahead and hit that like button for me so YouTube shares this video with everyone and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to check out my other videos like the ones you see over here. 
The rest of this playlist is good. I have other civics videos, U.S. and world history as well. Do yourselves a favor, check them out, because I know you're going to like them. All right, for Virtual History 360, I'm Mr. Wade. I'll see you next time. <laughs>